Gibson catfishing. We're going to see what we do here. I'm using um, cut perch today. Um, I had some in the freezer, so I'd not try to get any shad yet. So down here, uh, fishing by the boat ramp, opening it back up. Usually, pretty decent place for uh, springtime flathead sometimes. So I'm going to give this shot a couple hours and if this doesn't pan out, maybe I'll go try for a spoonbill. Well, it's been about two and a half hours. Got one bite, a little nibble. So I'm thinking about packing it up here. Uh, I did catch a couple of shad and I put one under a float. I don't know if you can see it out in there. He's been swimming around. Nothing's after him. So, you know when you can swim a shad around for 30, 45 minutes, nothing takes them, but they're not biting real good. So, I don't know. I may try another spot or I may try to do a little snagging. I did bring my new Akuma reel and rod with me. So, looking forward to tying into a spoonbill or a big old catfish for that thing. So, anyway. Uh, sorry about the wind. It's howling today. Of course, I went decided to go fishing today, so it's going to blow like crazy. So anyway, uh, on to spot number two. Okay, guys, new spot across the river. Just landed this one. Probably, I don't know, not very big, as you can see here. So at least we got the skunk out of the boat. I'm going to turn this one loose, see if we can't get something bigger. Okay, listen. Getting a hit. I've tried to float for a little over an hour. Got one hit off it. It's just got this one off. It's on the bottom. Two ounces of weight with cut shad. So just got a hit off of it. Fiddler. Well, at least I always think it's a fiddler, but you know, the blues like to slam them. But thought he might take it. If he didn't. There he goes. Okay, I can get off here and see if I can get this one. I know he's a small one, but we'll try. Well, okay, Fiddler finally made that mistake of taking it. Uh, let me get around here. A little blue there. Not bad. Probably, I don't know, pound, pound and a half. So, uh, I don't know. I may put him back in the stringer just in case I catch a couple more of that size. Usually my limit this size I have have at least three before I'm willing to clean them. But if I caught a little bit bigger one I might change it. So anyway, let me, uh, I think I've only got one shad left too and some perch. So let me, uh, boy, that Gamagatsu got him right there. So let me uh, get him off here and get baited back up. I was a little farther out that time. See if we can't get something a little bit bigger. So while I'm resting between snagging smells, let me show my setup. First off, you've probably already seen this Akuma 10 foot surf spinning. And this is a Akuma ABF 65, I believe it is, Avenger. Yep, no, it's ABS 6000. It's a new model. The ABF 65 is the old one. So, of course, I let it down. Get hung up. But um, it holds around 180 yards of 20 pound. I'm using 25 pound big game sower. I don't much care for a braided line, especially snagging around rocks and stuff where you're fishing around rocks. You watch, I'm going to have to get down there and get that sinker out of that crevice. Um, braid just um, gets a little nick on it and it's no good. You're, you're done. So uh, I just don't care for it. Weaseled it out of there. Ten odd barbless snagging hook. Four ounce bank sinker. Got that. Uh, I'll show you. I'll make a video one day how I tie my snagging rigs. Um, I snail them and just leave a long. Ow. 
sharp. So that's what I'm using for snagging. Um, I'm a, snagging is not really one of my favorite things. I like to catch them every once in a while. I don't like to eat spoonbill that much. Uh, they're not up there as far as I'm concerned as quality, but I'll eat them a couple times a, a year. So when I do, I prefer them grilled over fried. So I'm not, I, I, I've never thought of myself as a, as a uh, fish snob, but apparently some people think I am because um, I prefer catfish and crappie walleye over anything i think they're the best out there i don't think you can beat them but you know i will eat sand bass i will eat stripers i will eat spoonbill but i just not something i stock up on um i <laughs> um the sand bass and stuff like that i tend to give away to friends and family who ask for for uh fish i tend to keep crappie for myself and some of the catfish so anyway just taking a break here between snagging spells and watching this one throw it back out there he hadn't come back yet throw it in a different spot hoping for a bigger one so stay tuned you ride back soon something else happens that's noteworthy well i just got another bite off my last shad i had him and for whatever he wasn't hooked that well so now i'm um, I got a little gut section of a perch on uh, or bluegill maybe. sunfish for some of y'all purist uh, so okies just call them perch so let's see what this is going to get us okay guys here's my second paddle fish of the day uh tailgate to tailgate i don't know how long that is he's probably i don't know 15 8, uh, 18 pounds maybe 20. i'm going to tag this one i hadn't uh, tagged one yet this year probably do a video on um, how I fix these up and so got that I'm gonna get that blue call it a day I'm wore out this snagging will wear you out so thank y'all for watching I was going to I'm sorry I couldn't get you the action because I kept putting the camera on the um, tripod and the wind kept blowing the tripod over so anyway download 918 Outdoor Adventures catch us next time